Barnabies, it's me. Me, 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 me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I haven't done one of these in a while. Yarn Fairy. I don't even remember the name of it. <laughs> yeah, the Yarn Fairy. The Yarn Fairy A. That's what it's called. Wow, it seems like it's been so long since I've done, done one of those. Um, because, I mean, when I showed you my yarn before, I did I even classify it as that? I can't remember. Anyway, um, I just popped over to Walmart and I picked up a few things. Of course, the one thing that I really needed, they didn't have. Of course. What are you going to do? So I just thought I'd show you um, what I did get. And also, I don't know if I even told you about it, but uh, I know I told you about the blanket that um, I'm supposed to be making. Supposed to be. <clears throat> Operative word. Sandy from Left is Right Crochet and me and crap. I can't remember who else she's doing it with. But anyways, we're doing something called the Adventure Blanket. And um, I'll send you over to Sandy's channel to um, so she can explain that all better. But basically, it's you get a play a dice for a playing dice, and you pick six colors and you pick six stitches, and then you number one to six. And so you roll the dice once, that tells you what stitch you're making, you roll it again, it tells you uh, what color you're making, and you roll it again, and it tells you how many rows of that color and that stitch you are doing per week. Sandy has mine started. As soon as I was gonna start mine, that's when my sister got sick, and it's kind of been put on the wayside and I'm running out of time because I wanted to take it to, I wanted to bring it to Stitch Fest, so I gotta get it done really quickly, and I've got so many things on the go, and I know she keeps telling me I don't have to do it, but if I don't do it, I'm gonna feel really guilty. <laughs> like, really guilty. So, uh, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to get that done. So anyways, I ordered the yarn that she, um, the colors that she wanted, and then I ordered a couple of other colors because I've always wanted to try this yarn. And now I have, or sort of, maybe a little bit. It's the Premier Basic. And that is from, <laughs> wow, I'm having a hell of a time. Um, here's the bill. It's for Hirschner. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> took me a while to get it, but I finally did get it. And now I've got to, I'm, I'm in the process of, of trying to make sweaters for the raffles and everything. And uh, trying to make stuff to send Vero from Vero's Crochet for her store. And, oh, and then I've got some things on the go for Stitch Fest that you guys don't know about and I'm not going to tell you because I can't. <laughs> it's a surprise for those who are going to Stitch Fest so I can't say anything other than you guys know that I'm making these flowers uh, and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, back to this. And of course I didn't bring any glasses. <sighs> so, okay. So this is Premier Basic. It's uh, medium four worsted. Uh, there is 359 yards, 328 meters in a, in a skein. Uh, it's 100% acrylic. And that's pretty much all you need to know about this. This color is called Slate. Ugh. You know what, I'm gonna turn this light off because every time I use it, it's too close to me and it just buggers everything up. So hang on. Okay, let's try that. It's actually darker, a bit darker than this. So, so there's that one. 
And then there's this one. And this color is called Rose. And again, it's more of a dusty rose. It doesn't look like rose here. Oh, hang on. Is that any better? No, it's still too light. Anyways, it's a dusty kind of like that. It's a dusty rose. It's really pretty. And then I've got this is called light mauve. You guys, I think down the stage you call it mauve, but we call it mauve. <laughs> anyway, it looks like a light pink on here again. God, no, it still looks light. Nah, it still looks light here. But anyways, it's it's darker than that. And then I got this color I'm loving. As you guys know, I love this color. It's garnet. And this, it looks really red here, but it's really not. It's, that's kind of it right there. It's really deep, still light there. It's a deep red. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. Uh, and then I got black, which you guys don't need to see because black is black is black. And then I got, oh, <laughs> gray. <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually darker. It's the color of my hat almost. Yeah, it's almost the color of my hat. So that's a really nice color. And I got, I'm absolutely in love with this color. It's called Peacock. And again, it's dark. The nice thing about these is it has the center pull on all of them uh, so makes life a little bit easier so I got all of that oh and then I got white which is white and I oh and I got a cream for Sandy's blanket which is in the other room of course because it's with the yarn that I'm using for her blanket okay and then I went to Walmart today and everybody knows this yarn, I'm sure, but, uh, sorry, I have an itchy nose, but um, I, I haven't used it because to me, it just seemed like it was kind of like um, Red Heart, uh, uh, come on, Sandy, brain power, you know, the, the one that nobody likes, the Red Heart. Um, yeah, that one. Yeah, but it's actually not. This is really soft, like really soft, um, which I, I actually took, said, okay, just go touch it. Just see what it looks like, feels and all that. And I grabbed it and I was like, oh yeah, I have to do this. And to, to be honest, the Premier Basics, this is softer than the Premier Basics, and I thought this was soft. But this is Bernat Premium. Okay, and again, it has the center pull. Um, this is uh, medium four. Of course, it's white. It's 198 grams, which is seven ounces, uh, two, no, 360 yards, 329 meters in a skein. Um, I got these because I was going to try and make a sweater like this out of it, um, because this is the Huga, and I was trying to think of a way 
to make a sweater like this that wasn't so heavy. Like this is, the, this huga is, it's got some weight to it, right? So I wanted something that was nice and soft and cozy, but not as heavy. This was my answer. Uh, this and the Premier, um, the Premier Basics. So right now I am making a uh, a sweater out of the green Premier Basics. Oh, hang on. My pussy cat just came in. I think she has to go to the bathroom. And of course I gotta take her. So hold that thought. I'll be right back. A few minutes later. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Long story for those of you that are new to my channel. My cat's been sick for about a year and I have to take her to the bathroom because she won't go on her own. I think she's just being stubborn. I think she's just fine and she can go on her own because she can get halfway there and then she turns around and takes off. So <laughs> I think she just figures she's got me under her thumbnail or her paw. <laughs> so anyways, um, I got three of these white ones and then I got this one, which oh, I, I am absolutely in love with it. Of course, it's just called purple. But it's darker than that. There it is. Look at that. It's like a jewel purple. But it's just gorgeous. So I got three of those. And then I got three of this one. Which is called Ultraviolet. And it is, there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? So, I mean, oops. Look at how pretty that is. So I'm going to be making some sweaters out of these. Yes, I am. <clears throat> and they, yes, they will be up for raffle as well. Okay. <clears throat> Now, I need to make an apology. Um, on my last video, I was so... My brain has just not been working at all since my sister got sick. Um, well, since before that. But anyways, it got worse. Um, I mentioned, I said that I thought that it was Cheryl from with yarn and hook that did the raffle for the cancer blanket it was not so many people got on there right away and said nope you're you're wrong and thank you so much for doing that because <clears throat> my brain was just like Zzz! and I just couldn't I I could see her face I could not remember the name I just I don't know what I was thinking but anyways, it was Cindy from Cindy's Heart Cro Cindy's Heart Crochets. Cro Hearts Crochet. Holy man. Cindy Hearts Crochet. There we go. I will link that right here. Or I will put that right here. I will send her link down below. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, she's the one that I need to get a hold of and talk to. Um, I started making a, another sweater, 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 you know, I'm getting to the point where I don't know if I should be doing videos anymore because I'm just, I'm a hot mess. I am really a hot mess. I can't think, I can't talk, I can't, it's like, wow. And you guys still like me. That's amazing. <laughs> Um, I'm making another sweater like this out of the basic, uh, pre not premier basics, the, the basics. Um, and it's a beautiful, oh, what's it called? It's like, it's a tree color spruce. No, I can't remember what the color is, but I'll put that here too. Um, it is, it's a tree. 
think it's spruce or something. No, it's not. Anyway, um, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Well, I made the, the front half or the back half. I haven't put the, the color on the top yet, which I think is going to be gray. So I started doing the front piece. I was almost finished the front piece. I went to pick it up this morning or today uh, and I started crocheting, not thinking, I'm watching a video and I lifted it up and went, what in the, <sighs> the square is supposed to have four points. I had six. So I started making a cardigan not this sweater I was making a cardigan out of that half I don't know what the heck I was thinking and why it took me so blaming long to figure it out because it was taking me a while to get all the way around I couldn't figure out why and I was just like my brain just went on holidays or something because I just looked at it and I went wait a minute I got too many ruffles here and then I realized I had six points. I've got two different types of sweaters in my head and I'm making one of one and one of the other and I got them mixed up. So I had to frog the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So not happy. But I have a lot on my mind, I guess, and I just, yeah, I got too many things on the go, and yeah, what are you going to do, right? Anyway, I went to the mailbox before I went to um, Walmart, and I got happy mail. I got one piece of happy mail, so I'm just going to put this in here. I'm not going to do a whole video for it, although it really deserves its own video, because it's from Seagal. She's from Israel. Wow! At first I thought that maybe it was a card for my sister. Um, but it was addressed to me. And, and then I went and I looked like this. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. I think that says Happy New Year. So I was like, okay, it's for me. Look, she put stars on it. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to open that. It's real. It's so cool. <laughs> That's why it took so long to get here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, there we go. Turn this back on again. Uh, on, off, on, off. Oh, jeez. Ah, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, oh, I keep seeing people getting these. Oh, wow. And <laughs> I think it's okay to read this. It says, hi Sandy, or hey Sandy, uh, I hope that by the time you receive this card, you'll be running around without the need of your knee scooter. I'm on a cane now. <laughs> Sending you, <clears throat> skin, excuse me. Sending you and George and Tia, uh, all and all of your family members best wishes and many blessings for the holiday season love watching your channel and your positive spirit not lately sweetie <laughs> but thank you um p.s hope the stitch marker connects you to summer thank you i am so needing summer right now it's not even funny not even funny okay hopefully you guys can see this Oh, I'm going to take it out of the bag. Um, 
yeah, like I said, I, <clears throat> I've been, I've been seeing everybody getting these, and I've just been like, oh, summer, <laughs> summer, yes, I'm, these are so pretty, look, come on, focus, focus, oh, come on, focus, it's a flip-flop. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's got little jewels on it. Oh, I just love it. It is so pretty. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Oh, I am going to use this right now. <laughs> um, so thank you, honey. I, I really, really, really appreciate this. And the fact that it came all the way from Israel is just not going to cry. It means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> um, so there you have it. I think that's all I have for you guys. I think. I th oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I'm going to do this now. I was going to do it on another video, but I'm going to do it now. Um, I dubbed this 1000 Sub Club. And lately, we've had a few of our Yarnies that have hit the 1000 subscriber uh, milestone. Um, one of which is... Sandy from left is right. Yay! Kim from Kim's Crochet. Yay! Joe from Joe's Web. Uh, Fiber Fox Studios. Kim Classy Kim's Crochet. Woo! Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. <laughs> and Dana from Wonderlust Crochet. Yeah! You guys rock. And the nice thing about it is I'm catching up to you guys. <laughs> I am so close. I don't even know how many I've got, but I know it's over uh, 950. So I am very close. And a, a lot, most of us, um, I think, started, maybe, maybe Joe started a while for, well, you know what? A lot of us are coming up on our one year, too. So, uh, Joe, I believe, has already passed her one year. Um, Cinnamon from Cinnamon Stitches, well, she's way ahead of us. But she just passed her one year today. Today or yesterday was her one year. So uh, Lisa, I believe, is already at her one year. She just passed it. Um, is Sandy passed hers? I can't remember. But a lot of these people have already passed their one year. Like just passed it. So my one year is coming up in August. End of July, beginning, end of July, I think it is. Because uh, when I started my channel, I was starting to do the um, vlog, vlogist. So I'm coming up on mine pretty soon too. So we all kind of, we were all kind of within a couple months of each other. And uh, so it's just amazing to watch uh, everybody getting their 1,000 subscriber milestone <clears throat> and their one year miles, excuse me, milestone. So I think it's just, it's so much fun to watch. So much fun to watch. And there's a few of us, a, f a few out there that are in their 900, 800s, 900s that are, are coming up to their milestone as well. So um, I'm going to leave a link to all, the, all of these 
and some of the ones that are coming up on their milestone down below in the description box. So go check that out and uh, go check out the channels and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and give them a like and uh, put a comment on their latest video. Okay, and don't forget to hit the, the little bell, notification bell, and make sure it says all on it so then you'll be um, be able to get all the videos that we post. <laughs> Although YouTube's been acting a little funky, so uh, yeah, just make sure that you've got that notification um, done. And when you subscribe to our channels, make sure that you watch their video from front to front to back. From start to finish. There we go. <laughs> from start to finish. And then put a comment down below. Doesn't matter what the comment is. Just make sure that you put a comment in. Something that's nice. Um, and that way YouTube will recognize it as yes, you are a subscriber. If you don't do that, YouTube will probably kick you off, off their channel because it won't recognize that you have actually interacted with us. So make sure that you do that. I've got a lot of new subscribers that have come up in the last little while. So thank you so much for joining me and my craziness and my crazy yarny world. <laughs> and... Um, Myself and others, we will always keep you updated on cha different channels and uh, and where to go for some more yarny fun. Okay? <laughs> so anyways, thanks for joining me. And I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Bye.